Welcome to the Dearborn Citywide Public Art Show. I'm Sunshine Durant, the art resource teacher for Dearborn Public Schools. At this time, I would like to introduce Lamise Sarar, Executive Director of the Student Achievement, uh, the Executive D Director of Student Achievement for Dearborn Public Schools. Good afternoon. I am Lamise Sarar, Executive Director for Student Achievement, one of them, and I'm thrilled to be here with you as we celebrate our young artists. On behalf of the district, I would like to applaud our students and staff for the outstanding accomplishments that we are celebrating today. I'd like to begin by asking our students who are being showcased to please stand. To our students. Stay standing for just a second. To our students, it is a beautiful thing to see you discover this path of self-expression. For some of you, it may be a creative outlet. For others, perhaps more therapeutic. And for others still, it is a career path you are working towards. I would bet it's a combination of all of the above. I only hope that you continue to find paths towards self-discovery and sharing your messages with the world. Congratulations. Can I please ask our amazing staff to stand? Tonight's event is yet another testament of you going above and beyond for your students. Art education is not only a nice to have, it's not only important to have, but simply put, it is critical to have. Without these avenues for creative development, we would never know our students' full potential. Thank you for all you do. As I conclude, I also like to thank our families, our administrators, our superintendent, Dr. Maleko, and our school board members for their continued support of the arts in Dearborn Public Schools. Finally, we would like to thank Emma, thank Emma Jean Woodyard and Sasha Corder from the Dearborn Community Fund and the Pajeski Gallery, the Dearborn Education Foundation, and the Dearborn Department of Parks and Recreation. Have a great night. Thank you, Lamise. Each year, art teachers choose between six and 18 student artworks, depending on the size of their school. This exhibit is not a contest. It is a representation of the tremendous talent in Dearborn. Each of the 400 plus students who have artwork in the show will receive a, a blue ribbon and a certificate from their teacher. Retired art teacher Bob Curtis, who has knowledge and experience in children's art, spent hours choosing 12 artworks that he felt represent each art group in the show. The Juror's Choice Award students will receive a gift card compliments of the local Blick Art Supply Store. Thank you, Blick, for your generous donation. I would also like to thank the Dearborn Education Foundation for funding the purchase of the mats on all the 2D artworks. Having uniform mats makes the artwork look more professional and the art is framed and easier to frame when the students take it home. Now, Kathy Martin, um, the DFT Union President will announce the 2023 Juror's Choice Award. Each of these pieces have a black and gold ribbon next to them in the show. Students, please join us on stage when your name is called. Good evening and welcome. Um, I'm here with nothing prepared, but I do want to say congratulations to all the students. And I really want to show gratitude to the teachers who have helped our students grow and flourish and the art teachers who are 
showing students that there are avenues beyond just academics. We all have strengths in different areas and we're helping all of our students excel, whether it's academically or when I think of art, I think spiritually and um, it's just, it's amazing. I love watching students find themselves through various art forms. So first I'm going to uh, announce the Jurors' Choice Awards. These are the winners for kindergarten through second grade. For 2D art, it's Kayla Muhammad, who's at the virtual school. Um, the teacher is Mrs. Thomas, and the artwork is called Desert Fox. For 3D art, it's Evelyn Hanahan uh, from Gear Park Elementary, where I was at. <laughs> Miss Bruce. Okay. For a grades three to five for 2D art, Tamia Haddad from Miller. All right, and then for 3D art, it's Michaela Bar Barrett from River Oaks Elementary. Sorry. For grades six through eight 2D art, it's Leila Othman from Woodward. Uh, there's a tie for 3D art. Amelia Abbas from Eunice and Maryam Abu Murad from Stout. For grades 9 through 10, 2D art, Maryam Sirhan from Fordson. And 3D art, Casimir Gabrish from Dearborn High. And for grades 11 through 12, 2D art, Moses Gomez Martinez from Dearborn High. <laughs> 3D, Rima Alatalla from Fortson. And then the Special Education Award for 2D Art is Daniel Furman Torres from Howe. Awesome. 3D Art is Antonio G. Polo from Etzel, Etzel Ford High School. And the Superintendent's Award goes to Sophia Renam. And we have two senior artists from every school, uh, Caitlin Milligan and Sophia Hanum from Dearborn High. Uh, the Virtual Academy has Art Audrey Stample and Mary Claire McMahon. Fortson High School has Rayan Assad and Manolia Abbas. <laughs> Etzel Ford High School has Mackenzie Hagen and Brianna Jackson. <laughs> and from the Michael Berry Career Center, we have Zahra Durra. Thank you so much and congratulations to everyone. All right, thank you for everybody joining us on stage. I'm gonna introduce Sasha Porter. She's the gallery director of the Pajeski Gallery. She would like to close up our show for us.
First of all, I'd like to thank all the families and the students for coming today. Um, showing your support to the students really goes a long way in uh, telling them how much you love and care for them and appreciate what they do during their day at school. They pour a lot of hard work into these art pieces. So it's really a privilege that the Pajeski Gallery gets to show them to you. And uh, having you here with us today, just, um, it's, it's overjoying. So I wanted to uh, remind you guys that at 5.30 in the gallery, we will be um, doing our senior features. Uh, they'll get a chance to talk about their work and tell you more about why they created it. Um, we have a new addition this year to the art show, which is Art and Seek. So you'll find a table downstairs where you get a card, you find all the clues in the game, and then you turn it in for a sweet treat. Um, so those are located on the first floor. Um, before I dismiss you, I want to thank you again, and I also want to turn the microphone over to Leslie Curtis. Hello, my name is Leslie Curtis. I am a teacher at Fortson High School, and I am also the co-chair of this art show. I have been doing this for many years, and I enjoy it very much. And this year, we have a new addition, my new partner, Mrs. Sunshine Durant. We would like to thank her so much for all of the hard work and dedication that she puts into making our department what it is. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thanks again. Enjoy the show. Thank you very much for coming.